Hey guys, how are you? Leanne here and today I'm gonna be talking to you about something that we all want to do. So we're all concerned with our weight right now and you know why? Cause summer is coming up and that only means bikini time. Bikini time is something very tough for all of us because all of us girls know that we got on those extra, you know, miles. We all know we gained a little bit of, you know, weight this year. The finals, cookies, the energy bars, the Red Bulls, the I'm too lazy to get out of my bed. But it's okay because I am here today to share with you my secret. If you are overweight, eat more. <laughs> The secret is not to starve yourself because let me come back to the scientific explanation to that. I don't know what that is. I don't know. The science is basically behind this. If you don't eat enough, you eat a big meal a day, your body will go into survival mode. What survival mode is, is basically taking all that food and transforming it into fat. Um, fat is basically something that will be there as storage because in case your body is in survival mode, it will take out from that fat. Starving doesn't work because basically you're gonna get hungry again and when you're gonna get hungry, you're gonna eat, you know, a big dish of something and then not eat again for a long time. That doesn't work. Stop doing that. The thing that you need to do is eat six small dishes a day. Why you tell me? because this is how it works. Keeping your metabolic rate really high and you know your digestive system working non-stop will make you lose weight because your head is not telling you, whoa, I'm in survival mode. It will tell you, I need to keep on working and burning all that food and burning all those calories and you know, functioning all the time will make you lose weight. I make things that make me happy and this is the essential thing to stick to that path. You need to be determined, you need to have fun with it and you need to be motivated. Have someone do this with you, it's always more fun to have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, you know, stick to this diet and this exercise routine with you. If you're not in a gym, you can always do something else like calling up a friend and walking every night with that friend for an hour. Have six fruits and vegetables a day, I'm not kidding. These will fill you up so fast, especially apples. And if you are not a vegetarian, you can always have a steak a day or something, you know, like a fish a day. Cut those carbohydrates, but not too much, you need them. If you don't eat enough carbohydrates today, you will not get full and it will always be a painful diet. Do your research on what's healthy or what's not. Do your research on what's rich, 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 rich. Do your research on what's healthy or not and do your research on recipes you can, you know, do that are low calorie and healthy for you. Put that junk food away. Take it out of your cupboard. Take it out of your house. Give it to a friend. Because no matter what, if you have that junk food in your cupboard, you will freaking lose it. Eat good foods. Eat something that is attractive for you, but not something that's unhealthy. My food of choice, when I really need that sugary taste in my mouth, I take an apple. I love apples. You know, they just like give you that little mmm during the day, you know? Keep in mind that you're doing this for your own good. When you're about to crack and go see something that's not good for you or do something that's not good for you, you know, have an image with you of what your, you know, ideal body would look like and what your body is actually. Remember, you either, you know, will do something that you will regret later or do something that you will, you know, not appreciate right now, but it will go out in like 10 minutes. I have my Facebook, my personal Facebook actually down below with my Facebook fan page that you should like because you like me, yeah! And share this video if you liked it and I will see you very soon! Bye loves!